Hello guys and welcome to a new series on the channel. Today we are going to be playing through Resident Evil 5. Why? Because I can. Because Resident Evil is one of my favourite series and this, which I know isn't everyone's opinion, people do problems with this one apparently, this is one of my favourites. It was one of the first ones I ever played as a kid and honestly... It's also one of the ones that I've beaten probably one of the fewer amount of times. I've only beaten this one twice, I think. Came close the third time. When I was a kid, I got to, like second to last mission. Never actually finished it. Oh, second to last chapter, should I say. And then I beat it twice once I became obsessed with the actual series itself. <laughs> and. Yeah, I just figured I'd do a play for it because it's one of my favourites, so I thought it'd be fun. However, I haven't been able to drag anyone into play it with me, which means we're going to have to play with AI Shiva. Wish me luck. Um, Resident Evil. I deleted all my save files because you know I didn't know how else to start with a fresh inventory because new game's no longer an option once you click it. I'm also gonna play on normal. I'm not no. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, the song actually does play in the game. It always plays on like the home screen whenever I go over this game, and it's just not the music that I remember associating with this game. But it turns out it is in the game. Oh. Hi, chill. Sorry, spoilers. Spoilers for a game that's like what? 14 years old now. When did this come out? Was Captain Deshanter, we secured the underground route to the coordinates. I don't know. I can't remember in 2009, 10, somewhere around there. I should have seen it coming. There he is. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium, which formed the anti-terrorism unit BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. And Welcome to Africa. Is. My name is Sheva Alamar. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change. There are any audio glitches, by the way, guys. I, it's a haven for like said, and, now. Oh, wait, no, and I'm not going blown, to be either. happy to see an American. Um, it's a new BSA headset, but it came broken, and I can't not. be asked to return it, so I'll just wait till I can get another one. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. And if you hear any, like, messing with the audio, it's just me trying to fix it. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's go.
casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Resident Evil 5. Maybe the one day, Chris I'll find Delta. out. Hey, hey! Who you in Genji? Alafanya nini hafa? I mean, if this was your job, you, you would have though, to get right? Touchy. Let's go. Hmm. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. His face looks different. I, I don't remember him looking like this. Chris, I mean. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to watch that cut scene. This is Kirk. Chris, Shiva, can you read me? Chris here. Coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. There's a black market weapons deal going down in Kijuju. That's where Irving will be. The Alpha team has already infiltrated the area, and you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. Watch your backs. You know, after playing the remakes of all the, you know, all the new ones, wow, this feels weird. <laughs> what are your legs doing, Chris? Guys, what are we doing? Try it. Try it. Awkward. Now I tell you what this will let the squad when you are black. Where did they all go? They all vanished. Spooky. I know there's some people who say, like, a lot a lot of people say 6 was a real fucking low point, but people say that 5 is, like, there's some people that say that 5 was also, like, bad, like, compared to some of the others. No, 5's great. I like 5. 5 is just 4 again. It's probably... I played 5 before... I played 4, like the original 4, I'm not about the remake, because if you compare 5 and the remake, then yeah, the remake's better, because the remake is just amazing, but the original 4, as biased as I am towards 5, and like, I enjoy the like this version of 5, it's not really a remake of 5, but there will be, I enjoy original 5, well, Resident Evil 5 more than I enjoy original Resident Evil 4, especially now the remake exists. But I will admit, in terms of like the moment to moment gameplay and balance of it, yeah, yes. 4 felt a little better to play with. Once you get used to how they play, 4 does feel a little bit. I I'm on the log, I'm forgetting to actually play the game, sorry. But it does feel a little bit better to play, you know? But... At the same time, I, I, I enjoy Five's story a lot more than Four's. Destination coordinates. Always have. Wesker's my favourite villain in this series. Which is Good. obviously not an unpopular opinion. Mostly just I don't know. Both remake so and original, I still find false villains to be a bit right. wacky. No You're kidding, right? Same reason I really don't like eight. <laughs> he is our only lead. 
village. Mm, not for me. I've also finished that one of less than most, and that's just because I don't like it that much. It's okay for a first play for a village. Not worth much more after that. I think the weakest Resident Evil is uh, Revelations. The first one. It's okay. Remember, we're a team. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't not worry. brilliant. I may not be as like, as you, but I can still hold my it, it, The thing is, it's a part of a 3DS game, and you can feel it when you play it. Like, it is clunky beyond belief, in my opinion, and it just makes it very unenjoyable. So, for me, by the way, laser pointers, way better than radicals, don't care. But, um, yeah, Resident Evil Revelations 1, like, if it wasn't for those really clunky controls, it would be such a good game. Because it's got, like, the vibes for Resident Evil down. It's just, like, unlike, f for example, 6, it plays okay. I think the gunplay in 6 is trash. Like, the guns feel garbage in 6. The melee is okay, but it's also, you know. Did you hear that? It came from that building. But the vibes in six are just completely off. It doesn't feel very like sure it looks like Resident Evil a bit ish. But it just doesn't feel like it. Whereas this still looks and feels like Resident Evil. Cause it just feels like a evolution of four. But yeah, it's straight a bit far in places, but four was over the top in places as well. I also think shit like this goes a long way to make it a lot more, you know, impactful what's going on. Um, one thing I love about the remake of four is that it took that goofy shit from the original didn't make it less goofy, but also made it a lot more serious, as well as being goofy. Okay. Oh, I'll admit, Sadler, the main villain, much better than the original. Barely in the remake. Also, the village section in 4 is very iconic. Um, one of my favorite things about the remake was how they kept it the same, but like, added surprises. It was fun. Um, but that's not what, where this is going. I just meant, um, like, it was iconic for a lot of people because it was new when they did it. And thinking, when I first played this uh, 4, as I say, I played this one first. So the village section for me, I enjoyed it a lot. But this game section that's coming up just now, this was the iconic for me because this is the one I experienced on, first. A lot of people, this was second. Well, obviously, for 
for those people who uh, played four when it came out. Well, I played this one when it came out, but I didn't play. Four. I wasn't. It. The only one I played before this was Outbreak File Two. Believe it or not, um, the rest of the series I hadn't. I didn't even know there were more games than Outbreak till I saw five. Like I, I was very young. <laughs> but I mainly just played whatever other people in my family bought and I like just played when I could have a go sort of thing. And so yeah, this was, I played this one before four and so Anything that this game did that a lot of people say, oh, I just did what 4 did. For me, I kind of experienced this one first, so it kind of obviously made its mark first. So I have to give the bias points where they so obviously apply. Sorry, Shep, but we can't have really too much ammo. You can have one herb, though. Don't waste it, please. Do you know why I couldn't convince anyone to play with me? Because I have a nasty habit of doing this. I love that. I'm sorry. Take it. Okay. Take it. Roger. Here we go. I just say, right, Dr. Salvador is cool and everything, but in my eyes, nothing on this guy. The Executioner is classic to me, I will not have it questioned. I just love it. Like, the Resident Evil movies, you know, the Alice ones, whatever, whatever like Mila Jovovich, or whatever. Shit films. And they got everything wrong, but just seeing these... That guy in the films... Oh, it's fun. Probably some of the better scenes in them, apart from the fact that people just defy physics, but whatever. Shabba helps on the way. Just hope he gets here quick. 
Okay, here we go. Shep, keep up. He tends to make me lose this shit a lot. Down we go. That guy can just pretty much wipe you out. Oh my god, what? Alright. Get the SMG. Why the fuck would I leave without the SMG? I need to fucking move. Yo! It's the guy with a microphone. You that need a healing, not me, but yeah, sure. Accuse me of being reckless all you want, love. It's completely fine. We're okay. Move back. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. There you go. Oh god, there is. So I've been quiet, guys. I'm so used to, like, honestly, I haven't played five in ages. I'm so, I'm so used to the village section from four now. Even though I said I like this one more. There we go. Kill him, can we kill him? Sorry, keep you waiting. I'm gonna take out the door. Find some cover. There we go. Mission over anyway. Didn't kill him, that was a lot of ammo wasted, but not killing him.
I don't know. Like the Resident Evil 4 village section. I've gotten used to it now, so it feels very tamed. That was still stressful. Not stressful, stressful, but like a. Uh, I was freaking surrounded, like, they really close you in in this game. In that bit, anyway. The rest of it's fairly tamed, I believe. <laughs> As rank on the first chapter, what time are we on? 25 minutes already? Did I ramble for that long? Alright guys, I'm going to end this part here. Um. Yeah. We'll get into it more in chapter 2 in the next episode where you will see all about how this game does that just for some reason having an inventory system that might just be one of the worst for many of the Resident Evil games like I love this game but it's inventory system sucks it's awful terrible system hate it so much Sheva is half the problem <laughs> but I'll explain in the next video. Anyway, see you then.